Hey, this is Angie Brown from ExamPro, and we are looking at AWS Shield, which is a managed DDoS uh, protection service that safeguards applications running on AWS. So uh, just to understand uh, what the offering for the service is, we need to know what a DDoS attack is, which stands for Distributed Denial of Service. And this is a malicious attempt to disrupt normal traffic by flooding a website with a large amount of fake traffic, okay? Uh, and so um, in order to use uh, AWS Shield, it's actually already turned on for you um, and it's given uh, to all AWS customers uh, at no additional charge, at least the Shield standard is. And so uh, in order to take advantage of Shield, you just have to make sure that you are routing your traffic through Route 53 or through CloudFront, okay? Uh, now I said uh, that there is a paid tier and that is Shield Advance, okay? So for Shield uh, Standard, uh, this is going to protect you against the most common DDoS attacks, and it's already turned on automatically for you, uh, and it's available for a lot of different AWS services. Uh, and then you have uh, Shield Advance, which costs $3,000 per year, and you have to pay that uh, uh, up front, I believe, or at least you have to make a commitment to pay that. Um, and this is going to protect you against uh, additional um, types of attacks, larger attacks, more sophisticated attacks. Okay, and it's also going to give you visibility into those attacks. So I believe you get like a dashboard and you also get 24 seven access to some DDoS experts for those complex cases. I myself have experienced DDoS and have paid for um, such a service as uh, Shield Advance. So I can definitely understand the value there. Uh, and it's only available for a limited amount of services. So it'd be for Route 53, CloudFront, uh, ELB there, a Global Accelerator, um, F, and putting things uh, in front of or onto an EIP there. Okay, so um, that's all there is there. And I probably will just go to the website and just pull up the big comparison so we can take a quick look through it. All right, so I've hopped over here to the AWS website to give you a comparison between Shield Standard and Shield Advanced. And so uh, as we saw earlier, Shield Standard is turned on for all AWS services, where Shield Advanced, uh, it's gonna have the same coverages uh, of Standard, but have uh, additional functionality for uh, these specific AWS services, okay? Uh, so if we just scroll down here, you see we have a nice uh, large comparison. The most important thing to note is that Shield Advance is for mitigating uh, large DDoS attacks. So if someone is specifically targeting you and sending uh, a lot of traffic your way, you're gonna wanna pay for Shield Advance, okay? Uh, another thing about Shield Advance is that we get that visibility reporting. So we're gonna get uh, a lot more information as to the nature of these attacks. Uh, we're gonna have a response team and support. So we're gonna be able to talk to people to work through that problem. Uh, and then we're also gonna get DDoS cost protection, okay? So this is gonna make sure, because when you're getting a lot of traffic, it's gonna be hitting these services, Route 53, CloudFront, ELB. And if you have a lot of traffic, that would cause you to um, spend a lot of money. So AWS gives you these guarantees that you're not gonna be going uh, overboard in costs, okay? So yeah, that's the uh, stuff I wanted to highlight there uh, for advance. Um, so yeah, there we go.